Welcome back to Land House. The question was asked, is it possible to use two or more ram pumps with a single delivery pipe? Great question. So let's test that out and see what happens. The two pumps I'm gonna be using today are a one inch ram pump with three quarter inch poly pipe delivery pipe. And I've got a half inch ram pump with a garden hose delivery pipe. These two delivery pipe travel 100 feet before connecting together with a Y, as you can see right here. And from there, they go on uphill a few more hundred feet. So we're gonna turn this on and give it a test and see what happens. I've shut off the delivery pipe to the half inch pump, and I'm gonna start the one inch pump and measure the flow rate at the top to see what we get, and then, I'm gonna do the same with the half inch pump, and then I'm gonna see about combining them together. See if they'll work, and also see if the uh, output is increased. I have the one inch pump running now. Let's go up the hill and measure the output. This is the output with only the one inch pump. So I'm gonna stick this bucket with tape on it under here and get the time it takes for the water to reach this line. Approximately 11 seconds is how long it took. So let's go turn on the half inch pump and measure those results. I now have the ball valve on the one inch pump turned off and I have got the half inch pump running with the delivery pipe open. So let's head back up the hill and measure only the half inch pump results. Just like before, I'm gonna take this little bucket and place it under the water and see how long it takes for that water to reach the line with the half inch pump. All right, 23 seconds for it to reach that line. That's a lot of walking back and forth. So the one inch pump delivered the water in 11 seconds. The half inch pump delivered in 23 seconds. So basically the half inch pump is half of one. So that's really cool. Now for the moment you've been waiting for, the reason you clicked on this video, let's turn the two pumps on together and see what happens. <sighs> Okay, well, they're still both working. That's a good sign. So let's head back up and see if there is a difference in the output. Okay, here we go, let's see what we get. All right, I get six seconds for that to fill up. Incredible. Now that was some great results. It's possible to run two pumps on the same delivery pipe and it drastically improves the flow rate at the top. So I was thinking of a couple of issues that might occur and that is adding this much more water in the delivery pipe may cause an issue with back pressure. So let's say you added a third pump and it was pushing so much water out, would that cause the three pumps to stop because of the low back pressure? I don't know. Uh, or maybe there's enough pressure uh, on all of them to keep it going. So um, not exactly sure how that would work with increased number of pumps, but we know that two at this height here, uh, that's probably about 20 feet above these pumps. So uh, a decent bit of back pressure. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I certainly have. If you've got some more great ram pump questions, write those in the comments down below. I would love to hear it, and uh, maybe we can give a good test. I'm Seth Johnson with Landa House, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. If you want to pump creek water for livestock or a garden, check out the ram pump. This amazing water pump requires no fuel and no electricity to work. Installation is quite simple. Just place the pump in the creek, run a drive pipe to bring water to the pump, and install a delivery pipe to take water uphill. To start the pump, simply push this check valve down and it will begin on its own, running seven days a week, 365 days a year. To learn more about the Ram pump, go to my website, landtohouse.com. I have four different size models for sale and lots of information. 
Now, if the ram pump is not your thing, check out my YouTube channel, Land to House, where I have lots more content for you to enjoy.